Hello student, good morning to all. How are you? I think you are safe and fine. Children, in last classes I provided some videos related to what did liberalism stand for and a new conservatism after 1815. Children, that I have not explained. A new conservatism after 1815. First of all, we should know what do you mean by or what is meant by conservatism? Conservatism is a political philosophy that traced the importance of tradition, established institutions and customs and preferred gradual development to quick change. Children, conservatism means the thing which are very old. That means a person who believes the established principle or tradition or institution of state and society like monarchy, church, or social hierarchies, property and family. And the person who believes the old things, orthodox, they are called conservatives. Conservatism actually here in European history it is mentioned. It is a political philosophy that traces the importance of tradition, established institution and customs and prefer gradual development to quick change means they don't want complete change or quick change they want slow and steadily there should be some development this is called conservatism and our topic is conservatism after 1815 it was in last video conservatism in 1850 means now i am telling here the Battle of Waterloo. This person you might be noticing children. This person name is Napoleon Bonaparte. You know Napoleon Bonaparte who was known as sensation of Europe. Means fear of Europe. When he came to power in 1804. Whole European nation. They are afraid of that person. So this is why it is said. With the outbreak of French Revolution, the history of the world emerges into the history of a nation, history of a continent and history of a person. The continent is Europe, the, per the country is France, the person is Napoleon Bonaparte. Children, this Napoleon Bonaparte a ruled from 1804 to 1815. And in 1815, he was collectively defeated by the combined power of Britain, Russia, Prussia and Austria in Waterloo, in the Battle of Waterloo which is located in Belgium. And in this battle, Napoleon was defeated and after defeat of Napoleon, there was a meeting of all European ambassadors or representatives in Vienna. Where is Vienna? Vienna is the capital of Austria. So this is called Vienna Settlement or Congress of Vienna. So it is this Congress or Congress of Vienna or Vienna Settlement was a meeting of ambassadors or representative of the European powers who had collectively defeated Napoleon Bonaparte in the Battle of Waterloo. Children, this Congress, actually this Congress was held in the country Austria. Obviously, this Congress was hosted, means chaired or presided by Austrian Chancellor, he is called Duke Metternich. Duke Metternich, this person you might be seeing on the screen, he, this person name was Duke Metternich and in this congress there was main principles or objective that objective what is the main intention of this congress the main intention of this congress was so a restoration of monarchies means restoration means the dynasties which was overthrown the kingdom or kings those were overthrown by uh, Napoleon Bonaparte when he ruled Europe 
at that time this dynasty were overthrown and this dynasty was to be or were to be restored again to their throne actually matter is there when napoleon ruled europe or napoleon created or started napoleonic war at that time he has defeated many kings and he has overthrown many kings from his from their respective kingdoms or country and in their place he has placed or he has posted his own relatives and cousins as the rulers and when napoleon bonaparte was defeated at that time so all the european power those who assembled or met in congress vienna and they decided to restore again monarchy in the respective countries who were overthrown by napoleon second is balance of power which kingdom ruled which country and what power they were using that power is to be given to them and legitimacy third and objective is legitimacy means according to the law of succession means which dynasty was ruling there if that king has died and in that place his own son or daughter they will come to power this is called legitimacy thank you children